Thank you, Greg. And how sweet it is here in downtown Charlotte. The top four seeds have advanced in the East region. It is Washington State against the top seed, North Carolina. The winner to meet Louisville or Tennessee. They play in the second game. Hello, everyone. Dick Enberg along with Jay Billis. If you like contrast, you got it here. An offense that's averaging 110 in the tournament, a defense averaging 40 in the tournament. What gives? Well, the priority for Washington State is going to be to guard Tyler Hansbro first. Leads the ACC in scoring and rebounding, has shot more free throws than any player in ACC history, averaging over 23 points, 10 rebounds per game. They may have to double it, but he's got to be made to shoot over the top. And for Washington State, the strength is in their guards. Kyle Weaver, one of the more versatile players and the best defenders in the country. And Derek Lowe, their leading scorer, has got to knock down three-point shots for Washington State to win. Now look at the starting lineups for Washington State. They're all 22 years or older, juniors and seniors. Rochester Lowe, Weaver, Cowgill, and Baines. And for the number one seeds, the Tar Heels, Lawson, Ellington, Ginyard, Thompson, Hansbro, three-time All-America, not a senior in the starting five. And tonight's game is brought to you in HD TV by HP. The men with the whistles, Higgins, Hughes, and Perone, and we're set to go. Just under 20,000 here at the Charlotte Arena. Carolina in white, and the Cougars of Washington State in the dark maroon. And, of course, this crowd, only two hours drive from Chapel Hill, will be highly partisan. Carolina Blue, you can see him standing now. The winner to the Elite Eight. The tip goes to Carolina, and Ginyard can't hit, but Hansbro is tied up, and that's going to be called a held ball. Arrow to Washington State. Hansbro has a habit for Carolina scoring their first basket. It looked as if he was going to pull that one off on the rebound. Well, typical of Tyler Hansbro right there for that offensive rebound, and Dick Enberg, this is where Washington State has to look to slow the game. If they get something early, take it. If not, they have to run offense. Great drive by Darren Baines, the big Australian with the first basket of the game. Set up by Weaver's pass. At the other end, Deion Thompson short. Baines, the Australian, with the rebound. If nothing is there early for Washington State, they want to try to run the clock. Their offense has got to help their defense. They cannot afford to turn it over. This is low from Honolulu. Rims out, and Hansbro sends Carolina the other way. The speedy Lawson recovering from that ankle injury. The sideline in six games in the middle of the season ties it up at two. That's the difference with a healthy Ty Lawson in the lineup for North Carolina. Their break is now shot out of a cannon. The fastest end-to-end -end of any point guard in America. Rochesti sets up Weaver, turns down the three. And now over Ginyard, way off the mark, over the top. And there's going to be the first foul. Whistled again to Robbie Cowgill of Washington State. Washington State coming out firing early. That was not a good shot by Kyle Weaver. If it's not there early, they've got to run offense and run clock. Kyle Gill, the 22-year-old senior from Austin, Texas. Academic star as well. 336 in business operations. It was the Pac-10 Scholar Athlete of the Year. Interesting matchups right now for Washington State. Rochester guarding Wayne Ellington. That's a tough matchup for him. Little out of his range, hands draw, and Weaver has it knocked out of bounds. Uh, Tar Heel fans thought that Weaver touched it last. It's a remarkable team. Tony Bennett and his father, Dick Bennett, recruited this group of uh, seniors to Pullman, Washington, the eastern border, right on the Idaho borderline. And now his son, Tony, has done a sensational job, was the national coach of the year in his first season with 26 wins a year ago. Cowgill can't hit the three. Ellington with the rebound. And it's not there in the primary break. North Carolina goes right into their secondary break. working the baseline, has it knocked away by Baines, and it's Washington State, and they are uh, one of the best in the country in forcing turnovers. Bobby Cowgill came with a post-to-post -post double, Hansbro turned away from it, but couldn't get to the rim against the bigger Baines. Tony Bennett in his second year, he's matched last year's record of 26-8, and eight, was star at Wisconsin Green Bay, and he's returning to Charlotte. He played three years of professional ball here in this city. He met his wife, in fact. Ellington, Ginyard, Lawson. 
Lawson for three. Won't fall, but Hansborough with the second chance. Can't hit. The tip is not there. Carolina keeps it alive, and Deion Thompson with the basket. A lot of standing and watching by Washington State. Aaron Baines did a good job defensively trying to make Tyler Hansborough shoot over the top. If you make him take tough shots, you've got a chance. If you foul him, it's going to be two points. Inside the Baines, working on hands, well knocked away by Ginyard. Out of bounds to Washington State. You can see Baines going after it, but he's really the only Washington State player, and he didn't have inside position. Otherwise, it was four white shirts going after the offensive glass for North Carolina. That's just too easy. Inbound for Kyle Gill. Rochester, who shoots over 50% on the road, only about 42% at home. Kyle Gill left free. Ties it at four. Nice little pick and pop off the out-of-bounds play run by Washington State. Everybody trying to stick with Derek Lowe, a terrific catch-and-shoot player. So how quickly Washington State back on defense trying to uh, defuse that fast break to Carolina, but they can't stop Deion Thompson, he has four early points. They played great against Arkansas. 16 points, went 8 of 8 from the field against a very big front line, just making quicker and more confident moves. Lawson out on Rochester. They'll be patient on offense, down to 13 on the shot clock. Very low. Number 10, Logan to take it on his own. Into the lane with a fall away, and it won't go. Thompson for Carolina, Lawson streaking into the offensive end. And that'll be a foul before the shot. Derek Lowe trying to stop Lawson, his first foul. Four minutes into the game, Carolina by two. Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, Seth Davis in New York. We'll get you right back to Charlotte after we check in first to what's happening in Phoenix. And what's happening there is a barrage of three-pointers. Absolute clinic, Greg, at both ends of the floor by the Xavier Musketeers. This experienced, balanced team has totally frustrated West Virginia with its defense and its ball movement and shot making at the offensive end of the floor. West Virginia, three for 14 from the floor. Obviously frustrated when they're on offense. Joe Alexander just picked up his uh, second foul. They've got five turnovers. You know, if you like basketball, this is not a star system on Xavier. It's a team system, and it's an absolute pleasure to watch right now. Xavier, six out of eight from behind the three-point line. We'll keep track for you. Let's get you back once again and rejoin Dick and Jess. Championship. Taylor Rochester with a foul. It sends Wayne Ellington to the line, looking for his first point of the game. Carolina and White with a 6-4 lead early. Washington State scored the first basket. That's the first time, only time, Carolina's been behind in the tournament. They got off the big early leads and ran away in their first two games. And Wayne Ellington being guarded by Rochester in a very difficult matchup for a very good defender in Taylor Rochester. And Wayne Ellington has done a spectacular job all season long, coming off screens, putting the ball in the deck. Just a great offensive player. Danny Green in for Ellington. Alex Stevenson also makes his first appearance for North Carolina, while uh, Caleb Forrest, number 52, is on the floor for Washington State. Four and a half minutes into the game here in Charlotte. The East Region, the top four seeds have advanced. It's eight to four, North Carolina, the favored Tar Heels, who have not lost a game all year away from the Dean Dome. 20 and 0 away from the campus of North Carolina. Derek Lowe behind the back, and that Forrest has it knocked away for a moment. Baines backs it in, the big Aussie. Makes it eight to six, he has four. Boy, he is so strong, and when he's patient in the post, he has got good post moves and can finish over size. And Alex Stevenson is a big player that can get up and block shots, but he had no effect on Aaron Baines. Around the perimeter, and now Lawson with a drive, has to kick it back out. A terrific job of moving his feet by Derek Lowe, trying to stay in front of Ty Lawson really quick. 10 on the clock. Hands bro. There's that jump semi hook, and he's short again. He's off to a slow start. Hansborough's 0 for 3. Baines has made him shoot over the top. 
and he's got the size to body him up and try to keep him away from the basket. But one thing with Tyler Hansbro, you have got to make him shoot over without fouling. Derek Lowe and a reach-in foul on Ginyard of North Carolina. His first. See Aaron Baines a little bit earlier getting the ball in the post. Stevenson does a good job of pushing him off the lane, but with that great size, 270, 280 pounds, he's able to back him down a couple of steps and get an angle and then kiss it off the glass. He has really improved his offensive game from last year to this. Looking for a tying basket. It's Weaver. Anytime they inbound the ball, they like to look for that back door. They turn and come back. Turnover and Lowe picks it up for the Cougars. Excellent outside shooter. So is Rochesti. Drive not there. Rebound to Stevenson of Carolina. Washington State getting great penetration into the lane against North Carolina. The Tar Heels have to do a better job of guarding the ball. Andrew looking for his first point. He travels. Took a couple of steps before getting the ball on the floor. That's the fourth Tar Heel turnover early. Here you can see Washington State, anytime they turn back and dribble back, you are definitely going back door. You can see there's the back door cut by Kyle Weaver, and Danny Green loses sight of it. Alex Stevenson a little bit late getting there, and it's two points in the paint for Washington State. Great execution on the out-of-bounds under. Baines out, Kyle Gill back in. So it's Kyle Gill, Forrest, Lowe, Weaver, and Rochester for Washington State. Washington State has seized the tempo of this game. It is a half-court game right now. North Carolina getting it into the paint, but they're not getting anything right now in transition, and that is their game. That's where they're special is in a full-court set. Quentin Thomas on the floor for the first time for Carolina. Gives uh, Ty Lawson a break, and Washington State. That's a two, has a lead 10-8 at the 13-10 mark of this opening half. Weaver with a couple of buckets. Kyle Weaver has really improved his offensive game over the last five games, averaging almost 18 points per game. Now yeah, Washington State start has captured the interest of these Carolina fans and a steal and the basket after uh, Washington State had rebounded Green's miss. He slipped in with a steal and converts. It's 10 all. An alert play by Danny Green. One of the best six men in the country, if not the best. Weaver and the foul on the Weaver the charge. Hansbro had position. First on Weaver. Weaver brings the ball down, not paying attention, and really an alert play by Danny Green to reach in and knock that thing away and then have the presence of mind to finish that play and get two. Hansbro goes out without a point. As uh, returning as Deion Thompson, number 21. Thomas to Stevenson. Thompson. Clinton Thomas. Ellington. Brilliant outside shooter. He takes the three. Not there. And uh, Carolina, with all that height, got position on Washington State and a second chance. Washington State forcing North Carolina into some challenged jump shots. They're shots that Carolina can make, but they're not really getting anything inside the paint after the first couple of minutes. Four for 12, but Ellington can't hit. And the foul goes against Carolina. Just under 12 to go in the opening half. Washington State and Carolina tied at 10. Greg Gumbel in New York, an update on what's happening in Phoenix. It is all Musketeers so far. 9 of 15 from the floor. C.J. Anderson spinning in the lane for two there. They've doubled up on West Virginia. 28-14, 7.37 to play in the first half. Back to Charlotte, Dick and Jay. All right, Greg, this David and Goliath matchup was the mighty North Carolina, the number one of the number one seeds against the fourth seed Washington State Cougars. Tied at 10 with eight minutes gone. North Carolina with some full court pressure trying to speed up Washington State. There's a foul, but Carolina can try to speed up this game on the defensive end. They can't try to speed it up offensively by taking quick shots. That would play right into the hands of Washington State. Quentin Thomas with the crowd on the sidelines. Picks up his first foul. Three team fouls on North Carolina for Washington State. 
Very difficult for Wayne Ellington right now, guarding Derek Lowe. Lowe is in constant motion, really changes speeds very effectively, goes from slow to fast to find openings. Grochesti on the run, that's his shot. The lefty who played his freshman ball at Tulane gives Washington State a two-point lead. Such a clever player and a much better athlete than he gets credit for. He can dunk off two feet with two hands with ease. Danny Green. Ambro still on the bench for North Carolina. Green will try a three. And The double team comes too slowly for Washington State. It allowed Thompson to turn and look. Without any pressure on him, he was able to pick the Washington State defense apart and find a wide open Danny Green without anybody rotating toward him. Green leading all scorers with five early points off the bench. 13 to 12, Derek Lowe from long range. Thompson with the board. Quentin Thomas, the senior. Green to Thomas for three. Scramble on the rebound, and Harmelin came up with it, and then the travel against Washington State. Dave and Harmelin sing his first duty. North Carolina averaging over 110 points per game, while Washington State's defense is holding opponents to just over 40 points per game. And right now, North Carolina, their field goal percentage, 64% the first couple. They're barely shooting 33% thus far. That's how good Washington State's defense is. This is not a fluke, an excellent defensive team. Lawson back in the game to Green as we approach the midpoint of this first 20-minute period. Ellington sets up Thompson down low, and he's on the baseline. No, he's going to be called for an offensive foul. Now they're going to call it... Uh, Violation on the baseline, not a foul. Washington State runs what Tony Bennett and his father refer to as the mover blocker offense. The big guys serve as screeners, and they try to get some offense off of the screens they set, but Rochester, Weaver, and right now Harmeling coming off those screens as scores. Kyle Gill and Harmeling, good outside shooters for bigger men. That's Weaver, and he travels on his move to the basket. So Carolina goes the other way, leading 13 to 12. 9.50 left in this opening half. Most importantly, Washington State has the tempo in the game that they want. This has become a game of half-court execution. That is not what North Carolina wants and not what the Tar Heels are used to. Green hits another. He has seven to lead the Tar Heels to a three-point advantage. Well, right now, Danny Green has been carrying this offense. Tyler Hansbrough has yet to score in this game, has three turnovers. And grow back on the floor for North Carolina. Many of the Player of the Year awards yet to be announced, but Hansborough has to be the heavy favorite to walk away with a lot of the hardware. And what a great play by Rochester to get through that double team. Weaver can't hit. Here comes Lawson, and it's stolen by Rochester. Back to Weaver. Sacks up Baines. And the big man has another two. He leads the Cougars with six. You can feel a sense of frustration on the part of North Carolina right now. They tried to get out and run, turn the ball over, and anytime Weaver puts it on the deck, he is doing so to pass. Ellington can't drop that 17-footer, and uh, Harmeling with the rebound. 15-14. Washington State trails by one with eight and a half to go here in the opening 20. That shot by Ellington was an example of Carolina trying to speed the game on the offensive end. They cannot do that. Rochester unable to save his miss shot as he dives over the Carolina bench. Taylor Rochester, a transfer from Tulane, just gives unbelievable effort on the floor. An outstanding athlete, left-hander that can really put the ball on the deck. He's got a great runner, a great floater. Uses fakes, shot fakes. Just a terrific player. And a generous young man, too. He's volunteered to give his senior scholarship $25,000. He'll uh, play as a walk-on senior so that uh, they can recruit another kid. Another turnover by North Carolina. Baines came up with a loose pass. 
North Carolina not showing patience on the offensive end. They need to use pass fakes, ball fakes, get this defense to move. Rochester, a good move to save that bad pass. Rochester from the line won't get it, and Hansbro rips it down. Average the double-double on the season. Thompson banks it in. Deion Thompson gives Carolina a three-point lead. He has six. Boy, as soon as Ty Lawson passed that ball ahead to a big guy on the wing, the first thing that comes into your mind is he may have been leading him into a turnover. What a great play by Deion Thompson. North Carolina fans on their feet. They realize uh, this isn't going to be as easy as many expected. They're taller. They're higher scoring, but this uh, Washington State team has found ways to win all season long out of bounds to the Cougars when we return. 7-17 left in the opening half. North Carolina leading by three. Greg Gumbel in New York. Here's what's happening in Phoenix. The West Virginia Mountaineers have come alive. They are on a 10-2 run and have closed the gap to within 10 points. Jamie Smallinger with the shot here. 3.48 remaining in the first half. 30 to 20. Xavier, back to Charlotte. Washington State and Maroon with the ball, trailing by three and a foul underneath against North Carolina. 7-12 to go in the first half. And the Tar Heels lead 17-14, coming up on AT&T at the half. Greg Gumbel and company take you out for a live look at that West uh, action. Virginia Xavier, West Virginia Xavier, and they'll get you caught up on all the latest tournament news, plus an AT&T Naismith watch update. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Last foul on Deion Thompson is first. Each team with... Shot too strong, and Thompson pulls down his fifth rebound. Probably could have gotten that all the way to the rim. Washington State has really out-executed North Carolina in the out-of-bounds under department. Both teams at that timeout were 7 for 18 shooting. Lawson can't hit, no foul. Carolina fans didn't look back. This has ruled that Lawson jumped into the defender. Well, the defender was coming his way. I think he had the right to do that because the defender was not going straight up and down. He violated Lawson's face. And uh, that's going to be an offensive foul against Washington State. Nikola Koprovica in for the first time, the, the Serbian sophomore. Nice step back dribble by Lawson, and that was clearly a foul. There's no question about it. The officials missed it, but they got the ball back with the foul on Koprovica. So the offensive foul turns it over to North Carolina, leading by three. Hansbro looking for his first points. Misses again. Baines with a rebound. Aaron Baines has done a terrific job of staying in front of Tyler Hansbro, using his size and making Hansbro shoot over the top, not allowing him the body contact to go in and create a foul. Hansbro shoots about 10 free throws per game on average and has yet to even sniff a foul. Kyle Weaver off to Kokovica. Derek Lowe, top scorer for Washington State, is yet to uh, net a point. And he throws this one away, the steal. Ellington sends it ahead. Pulling up is Ellington. He followed the play, rewarded for the steal. He gets the basket, and Carolina enjoys its biggest lead. Timeout, Washington State. 5.42 to go, opening half. Washington State has the tempo it wants, but for the Cougars to win, their offense has to help their defense. They can't turn it over. Here on the drive, Derek Lowe turns it over. Now North Carolina has an advantage situation. One, two, three defenders. It's five on three, and that is going to leave Wayne Ellington wide open as the trailer to get an easy basket. Those are the kind of easy baskets Washington State has been taking away from North Carolina, but six turnovers by the Cougars not helping the cause. Well, they average only ten turnovers a game, and they've committed six in this opening half. Only one turnover that first half of the surprising victory over Notre Dame last weekend. North Carolina is a much better defensive team than I think the Tar Heels get credit for. Well, they may have been able to improve throughout the season with their defensive intensity. This is still one of the top 20 defenses in the country. Deion Thompson picks up his second foul. He'll shortly come out. Alex Stevenson at the scorer's table as Kyle Weaver sets to shoot, looking for his fifth point. He is a stat sheet stuffer, as you see Stevenson enter the game. Weaver with uh, 1,000 points, 500 rebounds.
400 assists, 175 steals, 75 blocks. Uh, they've gone back through the records. They think there's never been a Pac-10 player accomplish those kinds of numbers in all the categories. Well, great versatility, long arms, and Baines doing a good job of trying to get up and keep Hansborough from getting an easy basket. You might as well foul him, but Tyler Hansborough has really been struggling in this game, trying to shoot over the top of Aaron Baines. He has yet to score in this game, but this move will give him an opportunity to get a couple of free throws. But Baines has done a really nice job of staying between Hansborough and the basket and making him shoot over the top. Baines picked up the foul on that last play, although he argued that he, he did get ball, but he also got body on body, and uh, Hansborough, who has been to the line more than any player in the country misses both free throws how about that but then weaver can't handle the rebound and hansbrough scampers to recover this is where north carolina has to be patient they can't try to force the tempo on the offensive end that is a bad shot by danny green weaver embraces that rebound and with five minutes to go in the half here come the cougars down by only four and when you can't get the pace you want sometimes you get frustrated and you wind up taking quick shots that plays right into the hands of washington state because they don't have to guard as long and then they can come down and make you play defense for 30 seconds low with the finger roll baines gets the rebound stolen by green out ahead is ellington and he scores there again, defensive turnover leads to the fast break. Those are the only breaks Carolina has been able to manufacture. It's when Washington State has helped Carolina out by turning the ball over. A terrific steal by Danny Green. His second of the ball game that has led to an easy basket, but Aaron Baines has got to be smarter. He was too far away from the basket to make a move. He was going to put himself at risk for turning it over, get it back out, and run some offense. Interestingly, 15 and a half minutes into the game, the two leading scorers for these teams yet to score a point. Very low with the ball now yet to score, and hands grow for Carolina. Well, one point for him. No, he hasn't scored either. Misses with two free throws. And North Carolina really doing a good job defensively against Washington State. Weaver, Kyle Gill batted it out to keep it alive for the Cougars. Rochester with the big boys gets it back and can't score. Green to Ellington. How about that second effort by little Taylor Rochester inside the lefty coming down with the rebound. Hansborough with that spin move looks for help. Thomas to Green. He's been the hot hand. Danny Green off the bench. What a six man he is. Leads all scores with 10. Dangerous time in this game for Washington State. They have got to see the ball go through the net or Carolina can move this lead out. They haven't scored a field goal in five minutes. Derek Lowe. Now that'll give the Cougars a high. He's averaging 14 a game. But he is so good at losing his defender, moving side to side, setting his feet very effectively and backing into that shot. Green through the legs of Hansborough, able to recover. Down to the three-minute mark here, opening half. Number one, Carolina in the lead. Ellington, long-range tray. And the Tar Heels by nine. Ellington with the quick answer off that high screen. So difficult to maintain contact with Ellington. And all he needs is just a sliver of daylight to get that shot off. And Lowe dribbles it off his foot. But credit that to Wayne Ellington's tough defense. Danny Green. In double figures, the sixth man with 10, and Carolina leads by nine. Closing 242 of the opening half, and Carolina has built a nine-point lead, and that without Tyler Hansborough, their All-America, scoring a single point. But Danny Green has filled in off the bench with 10. Here's Hansborough. Really, the difference has been the eight points that North Carolina has scored off of eight Washington State turnovers. And again, Washington State protects the ball like no uh, other on the West Coast, at least. Nine, ten turnovers the average, and they've committed eight here in the opening half. Bain's second foul, the big man who has been hawking Hansborough. Tyler Hansborough has not scored in this ballgame. A bagel for the National Player of the Year to go along with three turnovers. And really carrying the load for North Carolina has been Wayne Ellington and Danny Green. A combined 7 of 12 from the field. While Derek Lowe, Taylor Rochester, and Kyle Weaver have combined for 4 for 17 for Washington State. 
Marcus Ginyard returns to the Carolina lineup as Ty Lawson, the sophomore from Clinton, Maryland, at the line. In the two games of this tournament, averaged 20 points, 72% from the floor, and 10 for 11 free throws prior to tonight. 11 assists, no turnovers. You just can't play any better than that. An unbelievable stat line. He was struggling a little bit coming in to the NCAA tournament. Nowhere near as effective in the ACC tournament, but he is back to his old self where he is arguably the most explosive point guard in America end to end. Another second chance as Stevenson able to bat the ball on the missed free throw back out to his teammate. Sixth off offensive rebound now for the Tar Heels. Hansbrough's getting doubled post to post on every occasion. He's got to make a quicker move, get that ball out. Lawson trying to spin into the lane and it's intercepted. Weaver knocked it away and Lowe picks it off. 147 to go in the half. Well, the Cougars started 6 for 12, but they're 2 for 12 shooting since. Still a good tempo for Washington State. If they can knock down a couple of shots, get a couple of stops, they're in decent shape here. And Lowe able to trickle one home. Fans wanted to travel. Such a smart player that makes such great reads. Now, Will Graves into the ballgame. He is a shooter. You've got to cover him from deep range. Graves, number 13, comes out to the top of the key. And the foul inside, and that'll be Calgill trying to hold off Hansbro in his second foul. Well, near the end of tonight's game, we'll select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team. To honor them, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Chevy, an American revolution. The more North Carolina looks inside, especially to Tyler, Tyler Hansborough, the more opportunities North Carolina will have to pick up fouls against Washington State. And the Cougars do not have great depth, especially along the front line. The more fouls you can pick up on them, those are like body blows in a prize fight. Hansborough finally on the score sheet with his 719th career free throw made. He's attempted 927. He's been at the line more than anyone in North Carolina history, and he's a junior. First points for the three-time All-America, Tyler Hansborough. North Carolina's defense thus far in the game has been terrific. They forced eight turnovers. They've been right there forcing difficult shots. Weaver and the foul, I believe, on Ginyard. Now they're going to say Hansbro picks up the foul as first. A little bit of a weak reach in there by Tyler Hansbro. You've got to have some confidence in your help. Danny Green was coming over from the weak side. One of the things you can't do is bail out a driver. Kyle Weaver usually puts the ball on the floor in order to pass, and oftentimes is looking for Derek Lowe when he does. Kyle Weaver from Beloit, Wisconsin, is father of coach Lamont. He's a storied player, high school hero back in 1969, hit a mid-court shot in the state championship that's still remembered around the state of Wisconsin. Oh. And it's unable to hit one out of two, and it's a 29-21 game. Green again. He's been almost perfect. Danny Green with a dozen to lead all scores. 32-21. North Carolina coming with the trap. About 14 seconds of difference in the clocks. Harmeling for three. Not there. And Carolina will get the last shot. Shot clock is off. Very intelligently played first half by North Carolina, especially on the defensive end. And a timeout as North Carolina will work the final play of this opening half. Welcome back to Charlotte. They say it's impossible for an underdog to go the distance. Then again, they said it's impossible to get real Coke taste and zero calories. Log on to MyCokeRewards.com. Get lots of great NCAA gear. North Carolina with the ball, final seconds, opening half, and their biggest lead of the game, 11. Low scoring, but North Carolina has shown that uh, it's not just an offensive powerhouse. They can play defense with these Cougars as well. Lawson with eight, trying to get it to Hansbrough. Low bats it out of bounds with six and a half seconds. North Carolina wants to try to get a shot up with... 
four, maybe three on the clock to give them an opportunity to get a tip in, but not enough time for Washington State to take it the other way. Green, who's been the star for Carolina this opening half. Lawson for three. Oh, my! A punctuation mark at the end of the half. Carolina builds its lead to 35-21 as sophomore Ty Lawson drills in a tray from the corner. That's the end of the opening half. The number one seeds in command. We'll send you to Gray Gumbel and Company with AT&T at the half after these messages and a word from your local station. CBS Sports presents AT&T at the half. Your world delivered. Hi, everyone. Welcome once again to our studios here in New York for AT&T at the half. I'm Greg Gumbel along with Clark Kellogg. And Seth Davis, <laughs> names you know and love. We're at halftime of the uh, game in Charlotte, Washington State, North Carolina. This is the Cougars' Aaron Baines with the slam off the feed from Kyle Weaver. Washington State was within one at this point. Yeah, they hung around until about the eight-minute mark, and then North Carolina just exploded down the stretch. Tyler Hansborough only has two points in the first half, yet Washington State finds itself down 14 because North Carolina has been very patient on offense. Danny Green leads the way with 12 points in the first half. They're making 67 percent from behind the arc. It is going to be a long climb back right now for Washington State. Carolina enjoying its 22nd Sweet 16. They lead it at halftime 35-21. Junior from North Babylon, New York. Uh, Manhattan on Long Island uh, takes a seat, but we'll see him back on the court. And when he comes on, uh, Carolina seems to always uh, gear up that offense. In white, the Tar Heels with the opportunity first here in the second half. Lawson will hit that three right at the buzzer to uh, offer an exclamation point to a solid first half. Thompson on a travel, or no, that's going to be called dual possession. Arrow points to Washington State. Winner will play either the Cardinals or the Volunteers. They'll be meeting next, number three, Louisville, number two, Tennessee. Interestingly, uh, in the 100 years of basketball at Washington State, they've never played North Carolina, nor have they ever played a game in the state of North Carolina. We're hoping uh, things will be more pleasant for this visit in this second half. They need to start scoring. They hit only three field goals the last 10 minutes of the opening half, and Lowe is way off the mark on the first attempt here in the second half. Well, and off the quick miss, that's when North Carolina can run, and they really get the ball up court quickly with Ty Lawson healthy now. He is so fast end to end. Lawson, Hansbro, Ginyard, Ellington with the ball now, and Thompson, the starting five, open the second half. And the steal by Rochesti. Lawson to beat. And Lawson defends him and knocks it out of bounds. No, they're going to say last touch by Rochester. What a job by Ty Lawson defensively. Well, you can see the great speed. Lawson just beating Rochester down the floor, getting in front of him and denying him that path to the basket. Just a great job by Ty Lawson in transition on the defensive end. Weaver, Kyle Gill, Baines, Lowe, and Rochester on the floor and there's the foul underneath as Baines goes up to pull down the rebound. Ginyard has his second. You see North Carolina got off to a really difficult start. The second five minutes started to pick it up about the time Danny Green came into the ball game. And then the last five minutes turned it over a couple of times but still two for two down the stretch. North Carolina much more efficient down the stretch than they started off the game. And in large measure, Dick, that was because of their defense. I thought North Carolina's defense in the first half was really the difference in that half. Washington State did have a few open shots, just couldn't convert. Rochester in with the big fellas and able to get it back out to Calgill. And his shot misses. Baines able to get it over Hansborough. That doesn't happen very often. And how about that? Some of his own medicine goes to Tyler Hansbro as Aaron Baines with an offensive rebound. Here's Hansbro to answer. He gets it. <laughs> well, the competitive streak in Tyler Hansbro comes out. You know that he's going to run the floor and try to get position on Baines to try to answer that. Baines just pushed him down underneath, was able to grab that rebound over him, and then Hansbro wasn't able to stop him going to the rim. 
But Chesty is short. And again, uh, the Cougars, they've got to make hay from outside. They've not been able to shoot the, the threes or the long jumpers. Hansborough works the baseline. He scores. Muscle move by the All-America. Probably should have been an and one because there was enough contact and Hansborough got the angle. Probably should have gotten a foul call and a free throw. Washington State has made only four of their last 18 field goal tries. Ellington doing a nice job on Derek Lowe right with them off screen. Kyle Weaver, he misses. Ellington with a rebound. Low to beat. Ellington. Oh! oh look at Kidder. <laughs> he was up and Weaver able to battle him for the rebound. Washington State one for seven on threes, one for eight as Rochesty misses that one. Washington State trying to take every open opportunity, but they're not making North Carolina guard them. And that's Raw Chesty with a reach-in foul for Washington State, his second. Aaron Baines with eight points. This is after the offensive rebound, just backing Tyler Hansbro down. Hansbro powerless to stop him, and Hansbro a really nice shot fake to just lift up Baines just a bit so he can go around him on the baseline side. Highly competitive uh, with his All-America status for three straight years. Goodness, if he decides to uh, stay for a senior season at Chapel Hill, that's going to be a push off on Ellington on the inbound pass, his first foul. Roy Williams said of Hansbro, I said, give me a thumbnail. Say I'd never seen Tyler Hansbro before. How would you describe him? He said, passionate, driven, vicious, focused, disciplined. He compared him to Heinrich and Collison, the kids he had at Kansas, that just no quit. Well, if you'd never seen Hansbro before, the first thing he would say was, welcome out of the cave. <laughs> what, did, what did Bain say? He's a, he's a, he's a croc. He's a crocodile. Just what a, an Aussie would say. And you can't give Ellington wide open opportunities like that in transition. It is rare that he would miss a wide open shot. And the foul underneath on North Carolina. It's the third against Deion Thompson. So quickly, Alex Stevenson comes off the bench to replace him. You know, Ellington has become such a great player. Second team all Atlantic Coast Conference has really improved his game. Known mostly as a shooter when he came out of high school. Now has a mid-range game able to put the ball on the deck and get to the rim. And really a good finisher around the basket. Cougars need to find someone with a warm hand if not hot because uh, they've all been cold here in this run of four out of 21 shots since a good start early. Weaver, Hansbro picks him up and then Green knocks it away with seven seconds low from way outside. Rebound, Stevenson. Yeah, he has a physical presence. Green, it's blocked by Weaver, gets it back. Hansbro takes it in. And Baines able to pull the rebound away from Hansbro. Boy, a ton of contact when Hansbro went up, but not being called. And Hansbro not at all afraid of contact. He'll continue to go right into Washington State. And Washington State has faced big deficits before. When they played UCLA at Poly Pavilion, they were getting thrilled. But Derek Lowe and Rochesty started hitting shots down the stretch and got back in it. It was too little, too late. But this is a team that can still heat up and make threes. Lowe scores at one end. Hansbro answers at the other. Baines looks up at the official from his backside as if to say, he knocked me over. And uh, no whistle. Probably the right call as uh, Baines was well under the basket. North Carolina is so good at that, at getting the ball out of bounds quickly and getting it the other way after a score and answering right away. That's a deflating play. Fans uh, offer their response, this partisan crowd, to the foul called against Danny Green. It's his first, and with 14-41 left in the second half, Carolina continues to cruise. And North Carolina in white with a 16-point lead, 14 and a half minutes to go in the second half as Washington State starts this half only two for nine. It's just not have been able to hit from outside and particularly low and Rochesty is low. They're four for 18 combined, those two guards who normally are very productive outside the line. Aaron Baines able to Cook one off the glass. He has 10 to lead the Cougars. And a nice quick move by Baines. He was about to be double teamed, but turned to the baseline side. Ellington with a pass. 
the hands bro and they're going to call a foul against Washington State for running under the big center. Baines just turns to the baseline side. Tyler Hansbro coming from the middle. The nice little use of the glass. It's sort of a lost art in college basketball. Guys that can use the window. Derek Lowe picked up the foul. Hansbro can't hit. Hansbro over the top, but no whistle and out of bounds to Washington State. You're not going to hold Tyler Hansbro down for long. He's got such a high work rate. And one of the things he, one of the ways that he scores is by running the floor. Really gives great effort in running the court. Roy Williams, after the two easy wins last week, gave his team Monday off. Everyone took the day off but Hansbro. He was in the gym for two and a half hours, 500 shots. He says, he wears out my managers. He just can't get enough. He's always trying to be better. Weaver tries to weave his way free, but unsuccessfully, Hansbro with a loose ball. And turnovers have really hurt Washington State. This has been an outstanding defensive effort. Hans, North Carolina. Hansbro from 17, not able to score much deep inside. Uh, sees an opener and hits the jump. He has nine points this half. And that's an area, Dick, where he has really improved his ability to hit a face up jump shot. And that's what he was working on on Monday. He is much more capable. What block? Big Alex Stevenson just says no to Weaver. Green the other way. Can't say. Derek Lowe, Hansbro, and Ginyard are back. Weaver takes it in. Knocked away by Stevenson. Back to back. Blocks by this 6'9 sophomore from Los Angeles. One of the great improvements that North Carolina has made is from the four spot. Stevenson from Los Angeles sending that back. And give great credit for this block to Marcus Ginyard for getting back, stopping the ball, and allowing Stevenson to recover to wipe that away. Both Deion Thompson and Alex Stevenson have really lifted their games up in the in the NCAA tournament. Both have been much more efficient, much more productive. Derek Lowe from three-point range, unsuccessful, and Deion Thompson with a rebound. Watson streaks to the offensive end, gets it to Stevenson, who is fouled. Tyler Hansborough in the second half has been much more productive. We talked about his high work rate, getting the ball inside, going right into contact. An incredible knack for getting the ball up to the rim and getting it in. Again, going through contact, now in transition, hitting the face-up jumper. Hansbro has 10 points, 7 rebounds. He's turned it over three times, all those coming in the first half. You're not going to hold him down for long. Hansbro now is just one point away from setting the Atlantic Coast Conference record for scoring by a junior. Dennis Scott at Georgia Tech about to be erased from that top line. Baines goes out. He picked up that last foul, so three on him. And uh, Caleb Forrest, number 52, in for the Cougars. And without Baines, it's a much more difficult matchup. Hansborough out of the game, so you can give Baines a rest. Nobody else on this floor can really give Hansborough the difficulty that Baines can. And, one of the guys that's done a great job in this game has been Wayne Ellington. Defensively on Derek Lowe, he's been truly outstanding. Caleb Forrest rims out. Ellington for Carolina. Lawson. Ellington. Oh, look at those white jerseys surrounding the rim and get a second and a third chance now. And a whistle apparently... Uh, Forrest hit in the back of the head and perhaps a touch of blood. Tim Higgins, the official, wants to make sure he's all right. 44-27, Carolina building its lead steadily, methodically, and Tony Bennett, the young coach for Washington State, trying to find a way offensively to rally here in the second half with 12 minutes to go. North Carolina just displaying how much firepower they've got, not just on offense, but on defense as well. Their defense has been much maligned on the season. Many people opine that if North Carolina was going to be left out of San Antonio, it would be their defense that would keep them from getting there. Stevenson, he scores plus one. Well, he's put on quite a show the last couple of minutes. Stevenson, who was a starter as a freshman, 37 to 38 games, averaged almost 12 a game. He's been reduced to a reserve role. Hardly a reserve in this second half. All right, Greg. Alex Stevenson converts the three-point play, and Carolina enjoys its largest lead, 20 points over Washington State. 
Cougars uh, with 11 and a half to go. Have had trouble scoring and Baines back in with three fouls and Lawson able to get a piece of his wrist. And Ty Lawson has his first foul. Uh, Washington State really struggling from the field shooting only 30 percent including one of 11 from three and their starting guards. It has really been a struggle. Taylor Rochester, Kyle Weaver, Derek Lowe, six of 28 for that trio. That is unlike them. And if Washington State is going to win a game of this magnitude against a great opponent like North Carolina, their guards have got to knock shots down. That has not been the case. Baines with his 11th point to lead the Cougars. He's five for six from the floor. So they, without his scoring, they'd be 20% uh, as a team. Meanwhile, Wayne Ellington drops in. A nice 17-footer. Uh, he has 11 points in the game. Ellington's shot preparation is so good. Sets his feet, goes straight up and down, and really has great rotation on that shot. Just a smooth performer on the offensive end. Baines inside. He has 13 to lead all. An outstanding job by Ty Lawson of getting the ball up and down the floor so quick and Derek Lowe beats North Carolina off the dribble but any time that Ty Lawson has the ball in his hands he can take it end to end in a hurry. You've got to pick him up and the big guys have got to do a good job of getting back and helping out. Fifty one thirty two Carolina's lead as Robbie Calgill returns for the Cougars twenty six wins this year that matches their all time best in school history twenty six a year ago and to win back to back games in the tournament that hasn't happened since nineteen forty one for Washington State sixth time they've made it to the tournament for Carolina they've been in the tournament uh, six times since two thousand. Boy, it's really great to see Ty Lawson back healthy again since February 3rd when he got that ankle injury against Florida State and North Carolina was a different team without him. But you got to give a lot of credit to Quentin Thomas the senior from Oakland California for stepping in stabilizing this team Ty Lawson came back to a better team and there's his feet that just getting down the floor nobody stops the ball and this is a frustrated Washington State defense right now because North Carolina running it right down their throats in transition. That's like a hockey defenseman getting the puck behind the net and skating untouched to the other end to score. Ty Lawson, Green with 12, Ellington 11, Toss Lawson with 12, Hansbro 10 for Carolina. Back with our tournament summary in Charlotte uh, of the top three seeds only Georgetown and Duke two seeds have lost thus far and the ACC no one to the final four the last couple of years and uh, North Carolina represents their only chance this year and a very good chance it is based on how they have dominated the opposition these first three games Derek Lowe able to rattle in a three to cut Carolina's lead uh, to 20. Just constant motion, Derek Lowe, the senior from Honolulu, being guarded by Wayne Ellington for most of the game. And Ellington's done a really good job on it, but he goes slow to fast. And right now, Clinton Thomas guarding Taylor Rochester. And nice pass, and Weaver can't hit. Oh, he's had a miserable time scoring. Baines can't, Weaver can't, Baines can't, and finally Ginyard for Carolina. Ellington. Danny Green blocked by Weaver. Watch out. And fortunately, Weaver found a spot where there were no obstructions and able to pull himself up before he took a terrible tumble into the uh, band for Louisville. Just a nice heads up play by Kyle Weaver to block that shot in transition by Danny Green, one of the best defenders in the country, a perimeter shot blocker. Reminds you a little bit of Josh Howard that played at Wake Forest years ago with his ability to defend on the perimeter. Green reminds us that uh, the bench has been part of the story of this game. Carolina outscoring Washington State 16 to 0 with bench players. Green leading the way. And the Washington State, not a lot of depth, but North Carolina brings Green, who could start for just about anybody else. Truly an outstanding performer on both ends. Hansbro has it batted away by Baines. Out of bounds to Carolina with four on the shot clock. 
And inbounding the ball will be Quentin Thomas, who I think has done a spectacular job this season, shown great poise and great leadership for this team. Hansbro catches and shoots and unable to connect. When Ty Lawson went out, Quentin Thomas was the guy that stepped forward. He hadn't really done it before in his career. A senior, but came in and for the nine games when he was out, averaged about seven points per game, shot over 60%. Didn't turn the ball over, averaged over five and a half assists. Just a great job by Thomas. Finally, Carl Weaver finds a path to the basket. He has eight points. And what Washington State really needs to do is come up with some stops. Eight minutes to go here in Charlotte. First game, Louisville, Tennessee will battle for the Elite Eight as Danny Green. He got the Carolina. Tar Heels going middle of the first half off the bench and he continues here in the second half leading all scores with 15. The last bench player for North Carolina to average in double figures on the season was Marvin Williams who came off the bench for Roy Williams national championship team in 2005 and perhaps a good omen for this team. Cowgill misses the three Ellington breaks out as the white jerseys are on the run and Ellington will be called for the charge. His second foul. 7.25 to go here in Charlotte. Danny Green making the scoring lights red as he has been. And here are the number one seeds, North Carolina playing up to that expected form. They've rolled through two opponents and they have a sizable lead here with seven minutes to go. Baines inside and the foul is going to be on a push from Hansbro. This great size and skill by Aaron Baines. And he's turned to that right shoulder a number of times in the post, this time turning to the left shoulder. He's been the star for Washington State tonight with 13 points. 14 now from Cairns, Australia, two times uh, the Queensland most valuable player there, actually born in New Zealand, 6'10 and 260. He's so physical and does a really good job of sealing off in the post and can just back you in, and there are very few guys that can hold their position against Aaron Baines. 20 point Tar Heel advantage. Hands row over Baines. Baines made it tough for Hansbro. And they're raking at the Baines to try to steal it away and a foul call. NCAA March Madness Central, powered by the first ever Pontiac G8, is your home for live look ins and more. Check it out only on the CBS College Sports Network. The crowd really getting into this about. Tyler Hansbro going right into Baines doesn't get a foul call. That's a, a call that Hansbro usually gets because he's able to draw that contact and finish a play. But Baines so big he doesn't even move when that contact's made. Well, I thought uh, Baines got the foul his fourth as he was trying to protect the ball from the two Tar Heels. Uh, but against Baines he takes a seat as Lawson with a drive and Weaver with a block for Washington State. 19,092 here in Charlotte. Terrific block from the back end by Kyle Weaver. Just a great defender with long arms, great timing. Hands bro over Kyle Gill, and Kyle Gill gets the foul. And wearing a pass to the free throw line as he has in his three years with the Tar Heels is Tyler Hansbro. Hansbro averaging almost 23 points a game, over 10 rebounds a game. And about 10 free throw attempts a game, making over eight. He's from Poplar Bluff, Missouri, down there at the Gateland of the beautiful Ozarks, South Missouri. His brother Ben played in this year's NCAA tournament with Mississippi State. Tough little guard, isn't he? Really, a good, really good player. Six you got to be tough in that family, don't you? <laughs> oh, I bet. Competitive uh, with a capital C. Derek Lowe. Paul Gill for the offensive rebound denied by Hansbro. He just never gives up on a play and never takes a play off. Hansbro keeps going and scores. 
Yes. Tremendous engine, as you saw Hansbro's dad cheering in the uh, stands. An orthopedic, orthopedic surgeon, Gene, a high jumper at the University of Missouri in his day, a seven foot two inch high jumper. Now, most players would be content to bask in the glow of having blocked the shot on one end, but Hansbro blocks this shot by Cowgill, and then he just jets out and is the first guy down court. And anytime he puts the ball on the deck to his right, he is going to try to spin back to the left, spin back, spins back into contact, but he can make contact and still finish the play. He didn't get the foul called, but he's able to finish the play. That's the kind of great strength and more importantly, concentration that he brings. Caleb Forrest has his first point and now two as he was fouled from outside the line as he has the three opportunities. Deion Thompson's fourth foul. He'll take a rest and uh, Alex Stevenson comes in for him. Well, this Washington State program facing a big deficit here with just under six minutes to go but Dick Bennett and his son Tony have really done a remarkable job of building this program into a national contender. It was David Harmeling rather that got the three uh, points on the free throws. Uh, Harmeling's first points of the game. Well, Dick Bennett, uh, one of the great coaches in this game, coached at several places, rebuilt programs in Wisconsin, including the University of Wisconsin. He watches as Aaron Baines has fouled out. And then uh, handed over the whistle to his son Tony. And Tony Bennett in the second year regarded as one of the bright young minds in college basketball. A coveted coach. And Tony having taken over for his father the last two years. 26 wins last year, 26 wins this year. Aaron Baines fouling out with 14 points, eight rebounds. Really did a terrific job throughout the game of using his size, getting angles, really making Tyler Hansbro frustrated to shoot over, but a lot of possessions he's going to pick up a, a lot of fouls and uh, Baines the one bright spot of the Washington State offense out for the rest of the game with his fifth foul he was six for eight from the floor crossing in those uh, eight rebounds with his 14 points Wayne Ellington Everything Wayne Ellington does is absolutely smooth as you take a look at the Washington State bench. You have to certainly feel for the seniors, Derek Lowe and Kyle Weaver, who've put so much into rebuilding this program. Their theme last year was turnaround year, and they turned it around to the tune of 26 wins in an NCAA tournament berth. They wanted to take the next step this year and got to the Sweet 16. But anytime you face the number one seed and a team as explosive as North Carolina, it's going to more than test you. Cal Gill misses from the two point attempt. Hansbro pulls in the rebound. He has nine boards. Ellington with 13 points. Hansbro against Cal Gill and the foul before the shot. Yes, yeah, so tough to stop, Hansbro. Check out the nominees, folks, for the Pontiac game-changing performance of the tournament at Pontiac.com slash NCAA. You can also enter for a chance to win a Pontiac G8 and a trip for eight to this year's Final Four in San Antonio. Hansbro now five for seven. He's hit his last five free throws and has 15 points in the game. A clever move by Hansbro. The fake handoff and turning the other way faced a double team. North Carolina wants to continue to burn clock when they have the ball on the offensive end. Try to shorten this game up and get to the locker room. Approaching five minutes to go here in the second half. Low to Weaver. Washington State's going to have to start taking some risks. Take some open shots, especially some threes. Weaver listening to you doesn't get the bounce. Well, he's number one seeds from Chapel Hill beat Mount St. Mary's by 39, Arkansas by 31. And enjoy a 24 point lead at the moment over the fourth seeds from Washington State. Nice job defensively by Rochester to get in front of Loss and stop that middle drive. Four and a half minutes left. This uh, partisan Carolina crowd quite well satisfied with the performance of their beloved Tar Heels. 
And they got tunneling down on the floor slow to get up as he took an elbow in the mouth. Bodies were flying underneath that basket. Everybody pushing and shoving and Kyle Weaver grabbed a terrific rebound. You see everybody pushing. But you missed Harmeling. See taking a shot right there from Stevenson on that off arm. This is not a game for the timid. Oh, that is for certain. There are some uh, athletic bodies in that white uniform. And here's one of them, Ellington, coast to coast. Can't score. And Harmeling hustling, uh, even with that belt in the face, uh, to get the rebound. Weaver takes it inside, and the foul is going to be on Hansbro. And once again, Hansbro laying his body on the line. His third foul as we go to Greg Gumbel in New York. All right, Greg, excitement out in Phoenix and uh, methodical and outstanding play from the number one seeds, North Carolina. Many felt that Washington State with their outstanding defense, the second best in the country in terms of allowing points per game, and they've held Carolina to 65, but they just haven't been able to produce themselves against the Tar Heel defense. Down to the final seconds with Xavier leading by two against West Virginia as Kyle Weaver drops in the free throw for Washington State. He has nine, looks for double figures on this attempt, playing uh, what appears to be his last game in the maroon and gray of Washington State. Unit except for Stevenson on the floor for North Carolina. As we're down to 3:35 to go. Lawson chewing up some clock. Hansbro. Hansbro from the side, and he gets the kind bounce. Tyler Hansbro now with 17, 15 in the second half. Well, you're not going to hold Tyler Hansbro down. He's just too good of a player and has too high revving a motor. Well, you just can't say enough, Dick, about the job that this Washington State team has done all season long. They play a different and deliberate style, but they play it very effectively. And this is really a true team with the way they approach things both on and off the court. Yeah, the end of individual parts uh, no way they can compare with Carolina man for man but as a five man unit Washington State has made some beautiful music this year Carolina with a 67 42 lead over Washington State 246 to go for Roy Williams team he took uh, the heels to the national title three years ago with May and McCants and felt in that group and in some ways you can compare that big three with the big three of this team. Well I think this team compares very favorably to that team especially when you consider that Marvin Williams came off the bench as a double figure scorer for that 05 team. You take a look at Sean May there uh, the most outstanding player of the 2005 NCAA tournament. I think the one difference that you had between the teams would be the four position. The 05 team had Jawad Williams, a very versatile player that could step away, averaged about 13 points per game. North Carolina, until this NCAA tournament this season, had not gotten that kind of production out of their four spot with Deion Thompson and Alex Stevenson. Stevenson goes out as uh, Danny Green in. You saw Robbie Cowgill, the second Cougar to foul out, joining Aaron Baines on the bench. 18th point for Tyler Hansbro. A bittersweet ending for Robbie Cowgill this season did a, a magnificent job all year long an outstanding defender made the Pac 10s all defensive team. It just wasn't enough against such an explosive North Carolina offense. Derek Lowe uh, uncontested able to lay it in for his 14th point. And you have to think that Roy Williams is more pleased with the defensive effort of his team than, than the offense and he knows his offense is explosive. And I think he has had a lot of confidence in his defense, but to have his defense step forward and have this kind of effort where you hold Washington State to 30% from the field, he's got to be very, very pleased. Hansbro feeding it back out to Lawson, eight on the shot clock. 
Approaching the two minute timeout. With two minutes to go in the game, four starters still on the floor for Carolina. Hansborough forced to go for the long three and an easy rebound for Guignard. Another thing this game shows, Dick, I think, is the ability of North Carolina to win games in different ways. People have always talked about their ability to win a game when it's strictly a half-court game. And North Carolina's half-court execution against Washington State overall has been pretty good. They've run when they've had the opportunity, but mostly they've run off really good defense. Getting that offensive uh, rebound, able to chew on another 35-second clock. The Tar Heels, it'll be Louisville and Tennessee, what uh, promises to be a contentious second game as Carolina about to book their spot in the Elite Eight. Weaver with the rebound. Back to Weaver. And that's going to be a blocking call against North Carolina's Ellington. His third. Down to the final 76 seconds here in Charlotte with North Carolina protecting uh, their number one seed and after outscoring Mount St. Mary's 113 108 points against Arkansas 68 points tonight well enough as they've held Washington State to only 44 and given the amount of possessions that Washington State can reduce the game to this 68 seems like over 100 and Hansborough after only two points in the first half finishing with 18 nearly a double double. And our Chevrolet players of the game, Aaron Baines with 14 points and eight rebounds. The big man for Washington State and Hansbrough leaves with 18 points and nine rebounds. Only two free throws in the first half. As Father Gene and all the Carolina fans here, lots of uh, Carolina blue in Charlotte. It's only a two hour drive from the campus in Chapel Hill. And uh, the good news for North Carolina fans is Ty Lawson seems to get better and better coming off that ankle injury that cost him a half a dozen games. Ginyard out, he gets a hand, and some of the reserves get an opportunity to play. You saw number 30, Jack Wooten, who's been kind of an in inspirational humor uh, in the locker room with his mustache. He's decided to grow one until they go on and win a championship, he says. There's Wooten, a junior from Burlington, North Carolina. <laughs> They're kidding him about uh, congratulations. You made it through puberty. Well, you better be careful. He might wash that off by accident. <laughs> Not shaving until he uh, helps raise the trophy in San Antonio, he says. That like Bjorn Borg not shaving during Wimbledon yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, they kind of were hockey players until they win the Stanley Cup. Campbell, another reserve. Final minute here in Charlotte. Very impressive display of their total talent starting and off the bench for North Carolina and their bench uh, scoring has really been part of the the final outcome Campbell from outside misses everything and it's out of bounds to Washington State. So the number one of the number one seeds North Carolina advances here in Charlotte and on Saturday. In the final eight, we'll meet either Louisville or Tennessee that game to follow here tonight in Charlotte. In many ways, a workmanlike effort for an outstanding group of players from North Carolina. Especially on the defensive end. I think North Carolina won this game as much with their defense as their offense. And really adjusted well to a different style and that's the mark of a champion to be able to play and win games that are played in different styles and different speeds. Rochesti's had a tough night and he feeds it off to Chris Henry a reserve. Kopravica gets the rebound sets up Chris Henry the junior from Santa Ana California modern day high school hits a three and that's it as the final seconds tick away North Carolina advances to the late eight 68 47 over Washington State. That's a story in Charlotte. Let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York.